The imported cabbage worm came to the U.S. from Europe, by way of Canada, eh, in the mid-1800s. It feeds on all of the cruciferous vegetables such as cabbage, broccoli, kale, etc., etc. If not treated, the damage to cabbage, for instance, will be so severe as to make it undesirable to use, and nobody wants to see green worms in the crevices of their broccoli. So what do we do about it? Fortunately, they're very easy to kill. Just about any labeled product for vegetables will dispatch them. A great organic solution is a bacterial preparation called BT, which stands for Bacillus thuringiensis. Some examples of products that you can get on Amazon include Thuricide, Dipel, etc. And I have some links in the description. Now when you use this product, there's some key points you want to remember. First, start spraying when you first notice the white butterflies laying eggs. This only takes a few seconds for them to do that. It works best when sprayed when the larvae are small. It must be eaten to be effective. It's a stomach poison, so cover the upper and the lower leaf surfaces well when spraying. The target pest will die in about three to five days. The application frequency should be about seven to ten days. Sunlight causes BT to degrade, and most formulations persist on treated foliage for less than one week. Of course, a heavy rain will wash it off the plant, so reapply it as necessary. Avoid spraying near plants that other butterflies feed on because it's non-selective. It will kill anything in the Lepidoptera order, which are both butterfly larvae and moths. And finally, it can be stored for two to three years if kept cool and in a dark place. But try to purchase only the amount you need for the growing season. I hope this was helpful. This is Gary. See you later.